a lot of PowerShell was informed by this horrible, horrible business trip I had to the Elvis Presley Memorial Trauma Center, <laughs> where we, we they were, this company was using my pre-release software from the startup company I had to run a hospital, run a hospital. And it didn't work. And it kept oh, no. blowing up. And I'm there and I'm stitching together database records. And I see this one record says gunshot wound abdomen. And I had to find the other piece and stitch it together. And I was like, man, this really matters. I'm not at my best. And these tools aren't helping me. And so I, that, that was the heart of PowerShell, of a lot of PowerShell. Hmm. That's why it's a little bit more verbose than some people prefer. Because at three in the morning, when you're in bad shape and it really matters and you open up a script, you should be able to read it and have clarity, right? If you're in that situation and you open up a Perl script, best of freaking luck, my friend. Best of freaking <laughs> luck. That's not going to be a happy night. That poor guy with the gunshot wound abdomen might not make it. Anyway, so wow. that's what informed it. Wow. <laughs> if that guy hadn't been shot, we might not have PowerShell today. So. I know. So <laughs> much innovation is driven from like, you know, just desperation, it seems like. So that's pretty. Geography <laughs> 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 and desperation. Hospital. Wow, I didn't know that was a place. Mm. <laughs> If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.